Hello, uh, this is Jamie from Just Jamie, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to load the dynamic brushes and quickly how they work. Okay, so first um, you must have Photoshop CS5 or higher, and second, a graphic tablet to use these brushes. Now you can use a mouse, but it will not be as nice as it will be with a graphic tablet. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is click your B to activate your brush, okay? Or you can click it here on the left side, and you can see up in the lo top left-hand corner, the little brush icon, just click the arrow beside there, and then the little tool icon, and load tool presets. And we will load the dot ones here. So you are looking for the template file. These are not ABR files, these are TPL files. So you will select the TPL file. And yes, on my Mac, I it looks different than you will see on Windows. And then you click open, and there you see it in the list. If you don't see those numbers here, um, some of my other brushes have longer names. You can always go here and go to the large list, okay? Now, um, if you, what, what a good idea, what's a good idea is using the reference sheet I have included with the brushes. So, uh, for the dot brushes, please excuse my terrible desktop here. Let's see where my dot brushes are. Um, there will be a cheat sheet. So you can see here that the PDF will have examples of, it'll say the name and the number of dot brush it is. So you can see all the different types of dots you have here. So let's watch this in action. Okay, so let's go ahead, excuse me, and choose dots for. And I'm gonna just pick a color. You can, I, I use styles for colors, but you can always change your foreground color. It will take the foreground color um, uh, for simplicity, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and select, say, this one. And then you just start brushing around like this. And you can make edges, um, all sorts of things. And do you see how the distressing happens there? If I was to use a mouse right now, this is what it would look like. I mean, it still works, but it's not as nice because you can't control the, the sensitivity, the pressure there. Um, let me show you another brush. And all my brush sets have all sorts of different types of patterns. This is a dot brush, so there's all sorts of different types of dot brushes in this specific set. Let's see what's here. Some smaller ones. Yeah, so that basically in a nutshell is how you use the dynamic brushes.